How's your day going? Pretty good. How's yours? Good. Fantastic. So today um, I'm going to teach you a little bit more about how we work with patients. I'm going to teach you how to get crutches ready, okay, for okay. a patient to be able to use them. And then teach you a few gait patterns that you might use with a patient so you might be responsible for teaching that to them. Okay. Um, so first what you're going to do, um, I'm going to show you just on myself how you would measure these, but then kind of tell you, talk through how we would do it for a patient. So the first thing that you want to do is worry about the length of it, the total height of the crutches, and then we worry about where the um, where our arm hits this piece, okay? So what you want to do is have them at about, well, about six inches apart from you at about a 45 degree angle. That's a good place, a nice stable base of support for your patient. Um, and then you want to make sure that there's about two to three fingers of space between your armpit and where the crutch is. Um, that just kind of ensures that we're not up in the armpit, damaging right. nerves. A lot of patients will tend to think that, you know, you're supposed to be all, all the way mm -hmm. up in there, but it's more of a squeeze. Um, so these are pretty good for me. The way that you would uh, change the height is very simple. There's just a button here, you push it in, and this will adjust up and down. Also, um, on a lot of these newer crutches, you'll actually have uh, a height here. Okay. So if you want to, you can ask your patient, you know, beforehand, how tall they are, and that'll give you at least a good idea, a good starting point for how you want to adjust the crutches. If you have your patient laying down first, you can also get a good idea by just holding the crutch horizontal like this, just to kind of see what that distance might be, so that it takes a little less time to adjust it once they're standing up. Okay. Okay. So then once they've got that height adjusted, you want to make sure that these arm pieces are right about at their wrist, because that just creates a good angle for their arms and their movement. Any questions so far? Not yet. Okay, good. Um, so then that's it for adjusting the crutches. So once we have the patient up, there's a few different gait patterns we can use with them. Okay. Um, the first one I'm going to show you is a two-point gait. This is um, a little bit faster gait, and they're going to lift the crutch and their foot at the same time. It's always the opposite. Um, whatever crutch you use, you lift the opposite leg with that. Okay. So it'll be crutch and leg together, and then again together like that. Any questions about that? Nope. Okay. Because um, at that point, you know, we're keeping two points on the ground at all right. times. So that's why they call it that. And then with the three-point gait, we see this. This is kind of how we commonly see crutches used. If someone's non-weight bearing on their leg um, and can't put weight down, they'll do the crutches first and then their leg. Crutches and then their leg. And at first, you want to just teach them to go right to the crutches like I am now. Mm -hmm. And once they get good at that, they can start to swing through like this and move a little bit faster. Okay? All right. Um, the next time is a four-point gait. So we're going to do our crutch first. It's going to look a lot like the two-point, except we just do the crutch by itself, then our opposite leg, then the other crutch, opposite leg, crutch, and opposite leg, crutch, opposite leg. Okay? Mm -hmm. And then um, the last two are kind of similar. There's one that's called a swing two. That's where we um, move both of our legs together, but we just go right to the crutches. So it'll look like this. You might see a patient that might need to lean back just a little to get that mm -hmm. momentum, but they'll do the crutches and then their legs. Crutches and then their legs. So again, like the four point, this is a little slower right. kind of gait. If they're good at that and they feel comfortable and you feel that they're stable enough, then they can do a swing through, which is the same movement, crutches and both legs, but we go all the way through the crutches. So this way they can cover more ground in just once and, you know, in one step. Mm -hmm. um, and then through any of these gait patterns, while we're teaching our patient, like I kind of said before, we just want to make sure that they're not leaning down right. on their crutches like this because they don't want to be you know, hurting any vessels or nerves that are in our, our armpits there. So just make sure you keep watch your patient and make sure that they're not using them like that. Okay. Otherwise, you should be all set. All right. Thank